Alright, so I'm here at this little farmer's market I like to go to around the way in the Ville where they serve hot food. It's like 11 a.m. I got the van pretty much how I want it, laid out how I want it. I'm going to end up doing um a full tour for y'all next week when I get everything in here that I want. I'm still waiting on a few things like, um, I had, you know, I made my own reflectives, but... Um, after looking at some other YouTubers and things, I ended up um, going with the um, the reflectors. I think they're called Heat Shield from HeatShieldStore.com. So I ordered those. They'll be here early next week and also waiting on. I, I actually had um, the little cheap little curtain, privacy curtain by the company called like Cat Zoo on Amazon. But... It didn't really work out mainly because my pillar's falling off and plus I just didn't like it so I ended up spending a little bit more and getting um a one from another company called Luno which is like you know pretty much a better blackout curtain so I'm waiting on that um I'm waiting for like another cup holder I actually got um this cup holder off Amazon I'm gonna put all of these in um, an Amazon store so you know what I'm talking about when I when I do the the full like Band show video, but um, let's cut this off. I'll cut it off. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do a full tour of the van later on. And uh, what else do I need to get besides that? The window shades, the the curtain. What else am I wearing? It's a couple other things, but like I said, I'll have it all next week. But um. So I'm going to get on the road next week and, you know, what I'm going to do is I plan to um, take a trip down to Florida. I'm just going to like maybe like drive down to like Florida or Key West or something, but take my time with it, drive, you know, maybe just a few hours a day on the way there and the way back and just, you know, get myself accustomed to um, getting used to um, the van life and sleeping in the van. Um, I went ahead and copped some Dreamville tickets. Cause like I said, um, I want to do a lot of, um, like festivals and I guess, you know, Dreamville coming up April, that'll probably be the first one I do. I'm just going to go out there and post up and like mainly enjoy it, but also try to, you know, capture as much footage for y'all as I can. Hey, how you doing? As a lady, she was like waving at my dog, but, um, capture as much footage for y'all as I can out there. But, um. To really get myself accustomed before I really get on the road, I'm gonna take a couple of camping trips, you know, here in the local area. So um, tomorrow, well, actually today, like I said, it's about 11 a day. It's almost really about 12, but the check-in at the campground that I'm staying at today, that's about 10 miles away from where I live, is at two. So I'm gonna go in here, grab some food, then go smoke, eat, finish packing the van, and get ready to do like really my first camping night in the van tonight you know locally about 10 miles away and then you know the day after that I actually, I actually have um another night book for like um in a town called Lumber Bridge that's in like another 15 minutes like I said I was gonna get up the next morning and drive about 15-20 minutes to this other town called Lumber Bridge and camp there for a night but I may end up having to go Atlanta to Atlanta to do something for the the channel you know um I think my homegirl Lizzie, she's been reaching out to um, Rain and did a viewer for keeping in a bando. And so, you know, I'm going on there with her and, like, you know, record that, you know, because that should be a dope interview for the channel. And um, if I if that goes down, then I'm going to go to Atlanta for a couple of days. But if not, I'm going to stay here and, you know, you know, camp in the Lumber Bridge joint. But they already got a book. And like I said, just try to get myself accustomed to camping and work out the last odds and ends on what I need for the van, you know, it's all good, man. I got my, you see, I'm right here, got my partner right here, he chilling, he riding shotguns, so, Amazon, I found these little dope little um, cup holder foam mounts on Amazon, I got one, and it's like, it's perfect for like the back seat when I'm just chilling, maybe watching a movie on Apple, so on like Apple TV or something. So I'm gonna get one for, I'm gonna get another one so that way I can have one up there in the front. 
and one up here in the back. So that way the front could really be like, you know, like the living room. But um, like I said, I'm gonna go in here, grab some food, and me and Biggie gonna head back to the crib, chill, and get ready to get our first night camping in the van going, and it's gonna be a cold one too. It'll probably be 30 degrees here tonight where I'm camping at. So that's another thing I wanted to do. Mainly when I plan to get on the road, my one of my main nomadic um, reasons is is weather. Like, you know, I want to move with the weather. I want to migrate with the weather because I love beaches. I love good weather. So I want to stay close to the beach. And But um, this first camping night, it's going to be probably about 30 degrees. And um, I think it'll be a good test because, you know, Depending on, you know, how everything goes, you know, at some point, we might do a lot of cold weather camping too. Like, but we want to just get this started and just, you know, get this van life thing started and see how it play out. And I'll keep you all updated. It's just the first night. Like I said, the van's about 80% done. Let's keep it going. Okay, yeah, the other thing I was thinking about that I'm waiting on is um, a mirror. Let me see if I can turn it around. I don't think I can turn it around. Let me flip the camera. But as you can see, my mirror is like hella cracked. So I got the um, replacement mirror coming in and I've seen a couple YouTube videos about how to fix it. So I thought I'd get that in. Now I'll be done with all that. I have all that done by like Thursday, next Thursday. Not next Thursday, but the Thursday coming up. So within a week, I'm gonna get on the road and really take my first trip at it south. But um, right now, the gant, the, the van is it's, 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 it's inside of gas, so we're gonna fill it up. We got this um, sheets right here. People in the fed now, they know where I'm at, man. But gas right here, 299 right now. We're gonna go ahead and fill up, see how much it costs to fill this joint up real quick. Oh yeah, and sheets is fire. I'm definitely running in to um, grab, they have like, um, in the front, they have these hot, warm, like, pecan, like, praline pecans that are, like, and they have, like, different flavors of them, too. Crazy. I'm going to grab a pack of those so um, I can eat on the night while I'm camping, you know, while I'm sipping, maybe sipping on some Duke and wine or something. But let's fill this tank up. Hey, good. I'm going in right quick. You good, nigga? He's right here. Fire. All right, I think I got everything I need. You never really know, though. But I double checked like crazy. I mean, I never did this before. I mean, I haven't, I haven't camped since I was a kid, and I haven't never car camped. So, who knows if I got everything I need? But I think I do. I've double checked. It's about three forty-five. Check in at the campground was at two, and I heard they kind of strict about that. So we about an hour and forty-five minutes late already, and it takes about twenty-five minutes to get there. So. 
it is what it is. We're going to head out, try to make the best of it. Hopefully everything go, goes well. One thing I will tell you that's good is it's not freezing cold at all. Like the temperature outside right now, I mean, it's chilly, but it's very comfortable. Like it got to be like 50 something. So um, maybe 50, but um, so it should be comfortable tonight sleeping, which is, you know, that is a break, you know, because maybe I was trying to stretch it thinking that it was going to be like, you know, a 30 degree temperature, but I think we'll be good. So, um, the high camp is kind of like, from what I've seen, from what I can kind of gather, it's kind of like an Airbnb for campsites, like people that may have like property that's good for camp and they can kind of charge people. And, um, we paying 20 bucks for this night just to check it out, see what it's like. Uh, let's go. All right. So we made it to our campsite. It's actually pretty straight. Um, it's like, um, a lady that got a property and um i'm, I'm actually gonna show it to you i'm gonna tell you, explain to you what's going on right now like i said high camp is kind of like an airbnb for people that got property where people can camp on and um when i pulled up i seen it was just like a gate like a farm gate and the gate was actually locked well it wasn't locked i thought it was locked so i called her on high camp you can, you can kind of call the people just like if you went on airbnb i called her she came right out and unlocked the door introduced me to herself and showed me around, it's a real nice property. The door actually wasn't unlocked. So the instruction she gave was right, the door wasn't unlocked, I was just confused about it. But um, the boy Biggie, there's some horses. And I'm gonna show you where the horses at. The horses are like back over there. So we, I'm gonna walk him over there and we gonna go check out the horses real quick and um, let you know what it's like. Check it out, it's a real nice property right off the road. Like I said, the horses is right over there. That's where we about to walk at. But um, let's see my license plate. But um, right here where she got us posted at, it's like fire pit right here. A uh, little chair over there, some wood we can cut. There's actually a trail back there. There's a trail. But um, we're gonna walk around and take a look at this little spot. Looks pretty dope. I like it. You ready, boy, to go check out the horses? Let's go. All right, bro, let's walk over and see what we got going. Dope little campground, like I said, um, about to post up right there and get a fire started in a sec, you know? Let's see if y'all can see the... There go that boy Biggie. The horses? I'm gonna zoom in right there. So, me and the boy, we're going to walk over there and see what's good. So, I had walked under the gate, but as soon as I walked under the gate, they started coming this way pretty quickly. And now you see the boy. I don't know if he's excited to see him or not. <laughs> you going, y'all, boy? Scaredy cat. Don't run, man. Let's, this okay. They ain't coming over here. They ain't coming that far, man. Oh, man, but they... I'm about to say, I hope they don't come this far. Beautiful animals, though. And I'm literally, like... What's that? Maybe four yards, three or four yards from these guys. <laughs> I'm hoping they don't come over this gate. They're beautiful though. What you think, boy? You like them? I normally don't have this guy on the leash. I'm gonna go ahead and let him off the leash. I definitely wanted to have him on there with us walking up with them horses to see how he was gonna react, but. We're about to chill over here and see if we can get into making our little fire. So I'm gonna take him off the leash, see if he'd be good. I think he will. Yeah, he good. He back with a grind. I'm 
roll over there and see if I can get us a fire started. Wish me luck. I'm a fire starter. Biggie, biggie, biggie. Hashtag, hey Siri, how do you start a campfire? You dig? Now he is enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? He's all over this spot, yo. It's cool. Bro, I'm literally just gonna light this and see what happens. Hey, good boy. Okay. We look like we burning something. Something tells me that's going to go out. We were getting somewhere though. Let's try it again. Trying again. Got it lit up. You smell the water. Let's see if it'll go. And this is just a paper towel. I wish I had like some old newspaper or something. This is just a paper towel, but. the perm boy back up all right this time i put some leaves around it let's see what happens one hour later so you see it's dark now it took me a minute it took me about an hour but I finally figured this thing out. I had to literally, like you said, look it up on Google to figure out how to do it, but we doing good now. I'm gonna feed it for a little while, make sure it's good. Biggie, you happy? Everything is actually going really good. I got my campfire going. Puppy's doing good, the campsite is good. Everything is cool. I got some hot dogs, some some beef, cheddar ones, some fries, and I'm I'm roasting. Let's see how these can come out. Yo, the fire is like mad, warm, and relaxing. Feels good. There's no bugs out here. Feel real good. I don't even got the sweater on. I got the t-shirt on. It feel good as hell out here in front of the fire. You see that? Cheese all through the bitch. Got the stone ground mustard. A little bit of Gatorade from earlier. I'm about to dig in and eat. And I'm gonna hop in the whip and smoke me one, man. Kick back. Come out here and drink and enjoy the rest of the fire. I'm sipping, I got some dupling. I actually got some fruit and some stuff in the car. I'm gonna get to in a second, but I'm just chilling, man. It feels so good outside, man. Uh, the 
The fire's warm. All right, so my fire's about out. It's getting kind of cold and getting kind of late. So I think I'm about to turn in and um, go lock down in the van. Let's go, y'all. That boy Biggie back, he been out here back in the van sleep, but I think I'm gonna wake him up and move him back here with me. Just sat here and used my little Amazon toilet. Does well, I'm, I'm, I'm a big dude, I'm a 340 pound dude. Works well for me, it's all good. So I just pulled the bag over. I kind of little tied a little soft knot. And then I'm gonna close it down like this. Just in case I need to get up in the middle of the night and use it again. I'm gonna sit it right here. And like I said, Biggie, I'm gonna move him over here with me. Taking him to the bathroom. Go ahead and potty. Sniff it out, boy. Sniff it out. All right, so now I'm back in the van. You know, kicking back. I got the... This is the the 6040 seat. I got the bed right here. Bed with the memory foam mattress. But I'm not going to go to sleep yet. I'm going to chill up for a little while. I'm actually going to, you know... um. That. I'm actually gonna kick back in here, roll me up something, chill, sip some water, eat on my um my pecans for a little while and just kick it, man. Watch a movie or something, Apple TV. But um, it is a little chilly in here, so I think what I'm gonna do is, and I probably should have just before I even got in the car, is I'm gonna cut the car on and let the heat run for like 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and just kick back and chill. It's about like you know. 9 30. You know, um, I'm gonna stay up for about another hour and a half or so. Like I said, watch a movie, chill, play some video games or something, and um, and I'm gonna take it in and um, sleep for the night. It's going down, and luckily, this van is real stealth, even right now. It'll be more stealth like when I get the curtains and uh, the, the better window covers, but even now, like, I don't even have to get back out the car, I can just um, walk right there and turn the heat on. And come right back here and sit down in the seat. So that's what I'm about to do. And I'll let the car warm up, you know, so it's nice and warm and toasty. You know, as I turn down and chill and get ready to turn it in for the night. All right, so now I got the heat on and it's blowing crazy. I got my shoes off, man, chilling, man. One thing I like about this car is, like I said, it's very stealth, man. Um, Even when you, you can crank up the car to cut the heat on, AC on for a second, and when you cut the car on, None of the exterior lights come on. I mean, I already got it set up when none of the interior lights come on. The only interior light that's on is actually this camping light right here. But even if you look out, there's no daytime running lights or no kind of lights running on the back or the front of the car. So, like, even if I was, like, stealth, like, in a Walmart car park a lot or Cracker Barrel and I was getting hot or cold and I wanted to turn the heat of AC on for a second... I mean, nobody would even pay me any mind or even know, because like I said, it's no lights that came on when I took cut the car on, but um, the heat's blowing now and I'm gonna let it warm up for like 10, 15 minutes. And then, like I said, I'm basically just gonna kick back and either, like I said, play a game or watch a movie, watch some YouTube or something. Biggie, you all right, boy? He's tired, man. He he ran around a lot, man. Like I said, um, it took me about an hour or so to figure out how to get that fire going. And while, while that was going, he basically just ran around the little woods area and just tore the woods up. But um, he's tugging out now. He's a good boy, though. Chop. I got my instant burner. And, but basically, um, while I was rolling up the chop, I let the heat burn for like five or ten minutes. And it's like super warm and toasty in here now. It feels so good. So I'm about to just kick back and chill for like an hour and then i'm gonna turn it in for the night all right so i'm feeling real good man like real good man i i highly recommend if y'all stop through sheets pick up them apple pie praline pecans man i'm just is crazy but yo man check it out that boy big he been knocked out for hours yo i wish i knew what he be dreaming about man because he just be like 
making the craziest noises and just like moaning and snoring so loud. He but he's chilling. He's doing good. As you can see, I I transfer like my bread and trash and light and stuff, everything but my um, my gloves. I know where those at over here. So that way, you know, um, I have a little bit more space over here to sleep. And, um, you know, here's my bed, y'all. I'm about to lay down right now and um, have a good night, man. Uh, I feel really good. So I'll check in with y'all in the morning and let y'all know how it goes. I'm going uh, to get up early because um, I'm supposed to be heading down to Atlanta tomorrow with... Um, with Lizzie to um, do some videography work with her. You know, she's going to do a couple interviews, some for the Big Cast 910 TV and some for um, her Keeping It a Bando channel. So um, we're going to try to pull out early in the morning. So I'm going to get up early and roll out. And I'll check in with y'all, man. Peace. I'll see y'all in the morning. One. So yeah, me and Big, we made it through the night. I actually slept real good. You know what I'm saying? I got up twice to use the bathroom and it was all good. It was all love and just went back to bed. Um, the first time I got out the bed, that, uh, get up to use the bathroom, uh, when I got back in the car, it was cold as fuck, like frigid. And I was like, damn, I feel like cutting the heat on. It was too much. I just you know, you know, I, I had my clothes. I just put my clothes back on and wrapped up and put a hat on. And within like 10 minutes, I had warmed up. About an hour later, I was sweating. So I took my clothes back off. And then um, when I got up first thing this morning, well, what woke me up was I had to use the bathroom. So I did it again. So it wasn't too bad, man. It's all good. But like I said, um, we're going to go ahead and pack up, man. I'm glad this was a success. This first little pre camping test because like i said i'm about to you know next week probably head down the east coast and you know just see what i can get into and this was a success man i enjoyed it man so um peace brian from what i've heard you're using your paper not for writing but for rolling doobies <laughs> You're gonna be doing a lot of doobie rolling when you're living in a van down by the river. <laughs> <laughs>